Hello, welcome back to the Mobile Motorbike Mechanic Channel. I'm Steve. Today we're off to um, today we're off to Coventry to work on a Yamaha WR125. Just going to do um, a quick oil service on it. So we'll see you when we get there. Okay, so here we are with the WR125. Just a quick oil and filter change on this one, so we'll get into it. Right, first things first, we'll just fire the bike up, get it warm, and then it's easier to drop the oil out of it. I just realized this, or oh, just noticed this bike sticking over quite quickly. And what we've done is just looked on the carburetor, well, not on the carburetor, but the inlet manifold. And the, uh, the boot on the inlet manifold is split. So if we put a, a decent new boot on the inlet manifold, you'll hear the difference. There you go. Just drop that tick over right down. All right. So now we've warmed the bike up and sorted the uh, split boot on the inlet manifold we'll get the uh, get the oil dropped cool somebody's done that up bloody hell they've really done that up this is a worry <clears throat> Should not be that tight. Ah, bollocks. It's just sheared. Well, that's a good day gone bad. I had a feeling it was going to do that. No oh dear. Okay, so sump plug is just sheared off, which is not good. So. <clears throat> We've got to get the rest of the sump plug out. There we go. Yeah. So that's the top of the sump plug. And it's just sheared clean off. So we'll have to have a look and see what we can do about fixing this one. Not good. Not good at all. But this is what happens occasionally. So the first thing we need to do is just wait until all the oil's out of the bike. Because there's nothing worse than trying to get onto uh, you know something on the underside of an engine and it's dripping oil on you and everything. So rule number one: <laughs> don't panic. It's not the best situation, but we can sort it. So we're going to have to go to a chisel. And a hammer. Right. So we've got nothing left of the sump plug to get hold of. There's, there's just nothing left of it. It's it's just completely sheared off. It's been over torqued. And it's just yeah, it's just completely gone. So the only way we're going to get this off is with a hammer and a chisel, unfortunately. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and just chisel it around. This may take a while. There we go. That's moving now. Got it. All right. <laughs> okay, so we got it off, and there's the problem. 
<clears throat> See, so the top of that sump plug is just sheared clean off. Yep. Or the bottom of it. Top of it, bottom of it. So that's just cleared, sheared clean off. So what we had to do was we had to get a, a drift in. Like I say, we only had six chances because we were banging on these. Managed to drift it, turn it around, get it off. This is where your thimble filter is. The reason why it's called a thimble is because it looks like a thimble. So we'll give that a clean, get that sorted out. And just get some brake cleaner and wash that through. That's your spring that that sits on top of. Goes up in there. And then this is your oil filter here. That's just like a strainer. So we'll get that cleaned up. Oh, and then we'll have to worry about getting a new uh, getting a new sump plug. <laughs> I'm glad we got that off. There we go. <clears throat> so you can replace these thimbles, but we just inspect them, clean them, make sure there's no holes in them, and if they're fine, we can reuse them. Like I say, spring goes on like that, and it just goes straight back up into the bike. But unfortunately, we can't fit that because of our knackered sump plug. So. I'm going to have to go and see about, yeah, I'm going to have to go see about ordering one of these. So, to the internet, let's go. So, nothing we can do about the uh, sump plug, but what we can do is we can at least change the, whoop, change the oil filter. So, we'll, that should be underneath this little casing here. Ew, splurge. There we go. Of course, second you undo anything oil related, the wind gets up. And as you can see, this is the oil filter here. Tiny little oil filter. Replacement oil filter. We'll just leave that for a second just to drain. Just trying to get all the oil out of this one. Okay, so nice shiny new oil filter. Just check it against the old one. Yep, same size. Yep, same size. So on this one, the closed end goes into the bike. Open end, stick it outwards. And that's so that, that little spigot there on the cover can go on that. Just like so. Pop your three bolts back in again, and you're done. So ordinarily, that would be this job pretty much done. All we need to do is fill the oil back up again. However, because we've got this snapped sump plug, we've just ordered a new one. It's on its way, but it won't be here for a couple of days. So what we're going to have to do is, um, unfortunately, call, call this one done for now we'll go and have a chat with the customer let him know that let him know the bad news and let him know the good news new bits are on the way and uh we'll do a revisit all right folks it's been a couple of seconds for you but it's been a couple of days for us as you can see the beautiful british summer's returned as well <laughs> so we're getting rained on but uh yeah one brand new yamaha sump plug so we'll get this installed get the oil filled up and then that's this one done Here we go. So one thing I did notice 
on this old sump plug compared with the new one. So the new one, genuine Yamaha. You notice it's only got four lugs. This one's got six. Bom, 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 bom. I think that one is an aftermarket part, not a genuine part, which is why it's failed. That's only my thoughts, but there you go. So, what we're going to do, get this all back together again, Whee! get this all back together again, and get it tightened up. <sighs> right, in the manual it calls for one litre exactly of oil so one litre is going in what we'll do now is run the bike for a couple of seconds get the oil around the engine and then give it a dip and see where we're at make sure we haven't got your leaks no leaks is good right So the oil pressure light's gone out, which is good. So, just wait for a second or two, let the oil settle. Whilst we're doing that, we'll put some tools away. So we'll just give this a little dip and get the bike upright. And then we just dip onto the threads. Yeah, I didn't think that was right. There you go. About there. There's nothing on the sp on the um, nothing on the filler. So I'm gonna go for another hundred mil or so. That'll do. A little splurge. We're only just on the dipstick there. And we'll go for another little splurge. There we go, that's got it. So as you can see that, we're on the money. <clears throat> right, let's get this one packed up, we're done. Okay folks, so that's this one all done now. So we've done the oil and filter, obviously replaced the um, the sump plug and we did that little boot on the carburetor as well so uh, remember to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you again on the next video